this time, that brings us to item number 10, which is our welcome and overview of Dutch Fork Elementary School by Mr. Julia Scott, the principal here. Mr. Scott. Board members, because of the layout, we're going to ask you to come forward for this portion and for the superintendent's um, roundup as well. Okay, so to our board members, um, Dr. Hefner, executive staff, uh, to any visitors that we have here at Dutch Fork Elementary, we are delighted that you all can join us uh, tonight. And super delighted because I think at this point last year, we unfortunately had the flood. We were scheduled to help host a board meeting here and weren't able to do so. So we're thankful and grateful that you all could join us tonight. Um, before we begin, I feel as if it would only be right to recognize our outstanding faculty and staff members. So DFES faculty and staff, would you all please stand to be recognized at this time? Thank you very much. And um, rather than speak tonight myself, I'm going to ask Mrs. Amy Umberger to come down. She is our site coordinator. And I have to say this uh, to our board members again, we're very grateful uh, that this position um, was allowed to stay with us because she has greatly impacted and enhanced what we've done here at DFES. And Dr. Hefner, we do recognize that we will be within that three-minute window. Let me turn the alarm on right now. So I can see that. Uh -oh. Easy enough. Yes. Actually, I'm the resident scientist here at Dutch Fork Elementary School, and I gave my um, I added a slash there. Um, for us. I'm also now the magnet theme coordinator. We had a great site coordinator, Emily Perkins. Um, and as you know, after that three-year window, her position was no longer funded. But I appreciate all the work that she did um, as I came in and came on board here as resident scientist. So um, with that, here's the three-minute. It might be 3.15-minute magnet update. But um, I'd just like to just talk a little bit about our teachers here at Dutch Fork Elementary School. I couldn't do um, any of the things here um, that have to do with our magnet in my job without them. Um, I, really, I really can't think of a teacher who's really told me no, which is awesome. Um, so I'm just grateful that they, they are, they're willing to take some of the opportunities that are presented uh, before them, whether it be through professional development that they attend or opportunities that come across my email that, are th that I think are a great fit for our school. Because of all the involvement we've had with partnerships around the community, we constantly are, they're looking to, to do things with us. And so I'm just excited to work with a great group of people that really are truly orchestrator of opportunities. Um, we really focus a lot here at school on, pl on place-based projects. This is the third year I've been here at Dutch Fork, and this is one of our current place-based projects. And what that means is really making our school a place where we are doing a lot of work, where we're um, doing relevant experiences that are going on in our community. We have a problem right now. We create too much waste um, in general, so we are trying to do something about it. We got a $7,000 grant from Richland County Recycles to start um, smart recycling, which we um, are, re you know, we're re basically getting rid of all of our food waste in a good way. It's going to be used for compost. So you may not know, but 40% of our trash is food. So we're trying to do something different with that and providing compost that will come back to our school that we can use in all of our garden spaces and our little farm for our kids to use. But we've had many um, place-based projects, and that's just the current one. Um, field experiences are a really big part of our school. We're committed to taking um, at least four environmental studies um, or environmentally focused field trips a year. A lot of them are free, and we've been blessed so far to get some funding for transportation for our field trip to cover those costs so our, we can get our kids out in the community. Um, here you see some kids doing some uh, dip, net, dip netting at Salute Shoals and doing some tree work at um, Harbison State Forest. Um, we really focus a lot on project-based teaching. So right here we have um, some things that we were trying to solve around our school. Um, 
we have some girls who did a project a couple of years ago just sampling air around our school and finding out we have a lot of CO2 emissions around our car rider line and our bus lanes. And so they took on this project to really do something about it. This is them actually sharing their work um, at a board meeting. Um, actually, it was a science leadership meeting. Sorry about that. Um, and these are some of our community partnerships and um, that, we've, that we've formed. And a lot of these people have also given us grants over the last um, now third year. So we, um, as you can see, this is Sluter Souls, and even some of their staff have come over to work with our kids at school. So it's not just about a partnership, but they're actually coming over to our school as well. Um, we also really focus a lot on doing community events and inviting our families to come in and help us out around the school. So these are just some of the things that we've done. And here you see some kids, we're working on our nature trail. So, um, so we really have, these are some of the things that we currently do, and we're looking more we're looking forward to working more with our PTO to do more events like this this year. And with that, I just want to wrap up and please come visit us and we'll show you around. And I failed to mention she is also our current Teacher of the Year as well. So. Next item is our superintendent's report, and uh, Dr. Hefner, if you would.